messages. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore has been following this case from the beginning. She has the latest tonight from Kenosha. Good evening. What police were able to salvage off the girl's phone was enough for prosecutors to file criminal charges and for KUSD to fire Christian Enright. Now he is also named in this 38 page civil lawsuit. The lawsuit against Christian Enright and XYZ Insurance Company born out of Snapchat pictures like these. It lists 52 things as cause for action, including allegations of manipulation, emotional abuse, communication for sexual gratification, and an attempt to groom the teen for sex. Not only is a teacher doing completely inappropriate things for any adult, immoral, inappropriate, criminal things, but also the school not being upfront about it is very concerning. I mean, not only for KTAC, but also for KUSD. KUSD fired and right after a three month investigation, but the lawsuit claims multiple staff were aware of his relationship with the victim and the district and the board were negligent in the reporting, investigation and discipline of Enright. What is in this lawsuit and this criminal complaint cannot happen again. They all need to be held accountable. You are all mandated reporters. Before the firing, the district said they could not comment on personnel matters and they have to follow a deliberative process. The lawsuit calls Enright's conduct extreme and outrageous. How many has he tried this with? How many would he have tried this with next year if nothing would have came out of this? And I think it's important that people know we need to stand up and we have a voice for a reason and we need to use it. As the civil suit begins, Enright's also fighting a criminal case where he's pleaded not guilty to 22 misdemeanor counts of disorderly conduct. KUSD had no comment on the civil suit. We also reached out to the family's attorney who tells us the $100 million in damages is specifically against KUSD, that damages from Christian Enright and his insurance company have not yet been determined. Reporting in Kenosha, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News. Wisconsin's governor 